And away from that, uh, quite an intriguing new book, The Number One Mission, takes readers into a journey to uncover the hidden stories behind the Nigerian High Commission in London, the United Kingdom. The book, written by Yemi Edon of Daniel Ford, digs deep into the commission's history, the people and the relationships that have shaped it over many years. Bettina Nwili has more in this report. Daniel Ford has been involved in property deals worth over £650 million. This includes selling some remarkable properties, like the home where Mozart composed his first symphony, the famous Lipton Tea Estate, and the house owned by Sir Robert Walpole, Britain's first Prime Minister. The general perception is that embassies and missions are all about passports and visas. But when I realized myself that there was more to it, um, I started researching it more, and the revelations were things that I felt I shouldn't keep to myself. Yemi Edun's expertise in property played a big role in bringing the commission stories to light, as quite a number of notable individuals in the society had nothing but praises for the author. In this context, it's important that we have the moral, diplomatic and economic support of Britain. And no better way to do it than having this good relationship with Ambassador Ishala raised it that we must have that inter interaction with them. Well, what Mr. Yemi has done, I keep saying, is an example of the Nigerian in the diaspora that we should be celebrating. He's a very successful businessman. He's into real estate. He's done very well in the UK. But he went beyond that to write a book. He didn't have to write a book. He's not making money with the book. But he's telling, he's telling a story. He's going into history. He's educating a lot of people through this book. So what you never thought about existed, you read in the book. The proceeds of this book goes to charity, but other than that, the number one mission is an eye-opening read for anyone curious about diplomacy, culture, and identity. Bettina Willy, reporting for News Central.